This is Firas Samir from dailygoodwindows.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure a wireless router modem. Actually, there are two ways to connect your wireless network, either to use only a router modem or to use a modem with a dedicated router. For the people who have only a normal modem, the old-fashioned one who provides only the internet connection, uh, they, need to, they need to purchase a dedicated router. There are a lot of uh, routers outside in the market, like Linksys, DLA. The other way is uh, when, when someone, like my case, have only a router modem, which is a modem that has two facilities. One is to provide internet connection by using, uh, for example, a DSL uh, internet connection. Plus, it's working like a wireless router. This is my router modem, which is uh, Siemens. So, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up and install this one. As you can see from the back side, there are a lot of interface. One of them is the power and the button of on-off, and uh, here in the in the uh, on the side of the uh, of the back there is the DSL connection, which is used by the normal uh, landline telephone cable uh, connected to the plug on the wall where the uh, service comes from, and there is a USB as well, USB port that you can use the internet connection. Uh, with your computer using the USB cable and there are other four ports and by the way uh, as I told you this is a router modem that I can use it as a router as well to connect my wireless network in my house um, but in addition to this one as well you can purchase a dedicated wireless router or if you have it already you can connect it to one of the ports which is written here LAN1 and uh, using the uh, using this modem as, as um, to provide the internet connection and the other stage is to connect the wireless router the dedicated one but in my case I have only this one uh, and uh, I'm going to show you how to connect this router and configure it with my laptop. Actually I have two PCs, one is the, my normal PC and the, uh, and the other one is the laptop. The normal PC normally I connect it by wire to this modem to take the connectivity to the internet through a wire Ethernet, Ethernet cable uh, which is CAT6 cable and for my uh, laptop I used to use the wireless connectivity in order to be free at home wherever I want to sit, I can use the wireless internet connection. So you have to think where to locate this uh, router in your home in order to provide the signal equally over your home. Don't, you have to take in consideration that the wireless signal is getting affected by the cordless phones, the microwaves and uh, Bluetooth. Uh, other wireless devices it might get affected so you have to take this in consideration while planning to, to install and implement your wireless network there is another important note that the wireless signal uh, can be easily uh, stolen and what I mean of that while you're operating your modem and there is a wireless signal over there maybe your neighborhood can use your internet without your consent. So it's better to encrypt your signal and increase your security, uh, of course by the, by the uh, configuration uh, and uh, that you, you're gonna see in this video. To start uh, installing this modem and wireless router as well uh, to our computer, first we have to connect the um, the DSL cable, which which represented by the normal uh, phone landline phone cable, to this port to provide to receive the ADSL signal from your ISP, 
and uh, you have to connect one Ethernet cable here in one of the ports and connect it to your PC in order to install this software. So with, with your router, if you have like me a modem, a router modem, you will find a CD, a software for this modem. Uh, the CD represent, uh, represents the driver and the software for the modem, but by using the, the uh, Ethernet cable, we can access to the uh, router software, which is uh, already uh, located inside the, uh, the router itself. So the first thing, we have to connect this cable, as I said, connect the other cable to the PC, and put the driver seat into the laptop or the PC, whatever you want to install it. Then you're gonna see how to configure this router. I'll show you right now. After connecting the, the modem to the power and turn it on, we connect the USB cable from the modem to the computer and then we insert the driver CD for that modem in order to start the driver's installation. This is the uh, driver interface. We click on accept and then we click on next. Click on next again. Now it's copying the files. Each modem has its own software. It might be a little bit different than this one, but the concept is the same and almost the same process. So we leave it till it's finished. The copying of the driver on our computer. And now the Speedstream DSL modem has been installed, so we click on Finish. We have to open the interface using the browser, the Internet Explorer for example, uh, that we can edit the information uh, located in our wireless router. In our case, our wireless router is the same as the modem. It's the same device but has two functions. So what do we need now to do is we have to connect the uh, fast Ethernet cable, which is CAT6, that provided with the modem when uh, I purchase it, to the port in uh, the modem. And the other side, we connect it to our PC or laptop in order to uh, configure and open this uh, interface. So, uh, when we open the interface, we have to type a dedicated IP address, which we need to open that interface for us. And for how to collect that uh, IP address, we simply go to run and we write on CMD, the command prompt, and then we click on OK. Here, we need to type this. ipconfig slash all and then we go to the ethernet adapter local area connection because we, we used to we need to open that uh, interface using the cable the ethernet cable so we look at the default gateway which is this IP address 192.168.254.254 so now we open our browser and we type this IP address here. <coughs> Sorry. Now the interface has opened for us. We have a lot of options in here. Um, we have to uh, write down the username 